and I will leave that alone and just keep the show going. <laughs> All right, folks, see you next time, and please welcome Ann Alter. are called delusions. My biggest delusion has always been to believe that I was Jesus Christ and that I had come to exist when a laboratory took DNA from the Shroud of Turin and bioengineered me to become a living clone of Christ, which is a problem because I'm Jewish. <laughs> of course, so is he. <laughs> I've had some pretty interesting delusions over the years. So, I've been hospitalized quite a few times. During one of my hospitalizations, a fellow patient gave me money to get him a Coke from the machine, since I had vending privileges and he didn't. I bought the Coke and then thought to myself, you know what, I gave my life for all these people. They can darn well give me a Coke in gratitude. <laughs> so, I drank it. <laughs> Then, the fellow whose coke I drank came pounding on my door, swearing a blue streak at me. He wanted his coke in the worst way. He threatened me with dire consequences. I've never seen someone so irate. So, being Jesus, I forgave him. <laughs> I went through the multitudes of clothing catalogs I had collected and called up a few to say thanks for the clothing lines they had created for me. I really liked them. My South American poncho served as a Jesus-style robe while in the hospital, but I knew I was going to need fashionable duds for my ensu ensuing book and movie tour. <laughs> also, I felt that passing out loaves and fishes would be so much more impacting if I had on a little ensemble from Bloomingdale's. <laughs> yes, folks, a little-known fact. Jesus was a fashionista. <laughs> During my last hospitalization, I was placed on a geriatric ward where they had automatic commodes. Because they took a minute to activate after they were used, I had come to believe that I was controlling them with my mind. <laughs> I would nod my head at the commode and it would flush. <laughs> and I was quite taken with my psychokinetic powers. <laughs> Too bad they didn't work when it came to changing channels on the TV in the patient's lounge. It was a drag having to watch the love boat reruns 12 hours a day. <laughs> While on the psych ward, I was not the only person who believed themselves to be Jesus. I was perturbed at the fake interlopers and tried to remind people that there was only one of me and that I should be treated accordingly. <laughs> I knew that my fashion sense proved my final distinction as Jesus. Who else could pull off a blazer from Talbot's with duck boots from L.L. Bean? <laughs> if you're the son of God, you need to look it. If you were the sick in a ratty hospital robe and shoddy burgundy slippers was not going to make the grade. I just knew that all the other Jesus wannabes were desperately jealous of me. <laughs> As Jesus, I had the miraculous power to heal people, and because of me, people would live forever, and their health problems would be totally cured. This, the Republicans would hate even more than Obamacare. <laughs> insurance companies would probably try to kill me a second time. <laughs> I believed that being Jesus meant that my DNA contained the DNA of every animal and every person who had ever walked the earth. This meant that every being who had ever lived could be resurrected from my cells. So, I have to own it. Donald Trump's existence is my personal fault. <laughs> I believed that in order to hide me from the laboratory that had created me, my gender had been changed from male to female. Unfortunately, I was starting to change back into a man, and that upset me. I really wanted to continue to wear my Victoria's Secret silk paisley robe and solid gold thong. <laughs> I was 
mighty scare when I was in the hospital. You know those exploding dye packs they put on clothing in stores so you can't walk out with pilfered merchandise? Well, there was one of those in my brain, and it was powerful enough to blow up a sizable chunk of real estate if I was ever removed from the lab that had created me. One night, I tried to disarm the bomb by following a complicated, choreographed movement sequence. I got through the whole thing without dying, and then, wouldn't you know it, I forgot my password. <laughs> Hospital, I thought I might be in hell. Fortunately, Jews don't believe in hell. <laughs> As I started getting better, I started realizing that I was not in afterlife hell and after all. I was in real hell, and that was the psych ward. I could not tell the people around me to go to hell because I would have had to qualify it as go to that place in which I do not believe because I am Jewish. <laughs> and put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Because I thought I was the product of a laboratory and had Christ's DNA, I thought I also had animal DNA. I could see in the dark, I could smell our atrocious hospital food from floors away, I could eat my roommate's shoes and then lift a leg to a staff person with impunity. <laughs> I shared ESP with other animals as well as super sports abilities. If I could just get out of the hospital, I could resume my Olympic caliber athletics. If I tried hard enough, I could shapeshift into animal form. Unfortunately, as an animal, I had no thumbs, and I couldn't tie my ice skates. So, I languished in the hospital while the penguins played without me. Thank you. Oh.